Thank you, Mr. Yep. You know what? You mentioned Kim Kardashian and you mentioned shit in the last sentence. It's almost like you were reading my mind and you knew what I was going to talk about next. But there is a story that involves Kim Kardashian and shit, actually. Uh, Kim Kardashian recently said that she, quote, eat shit daily if it made her look younger. This is who young females are looking up to, Lonzo. Kim Kardashian said she would eat shit daily if it made her look younger. Better watch out. You're going to have some, some pudding flavored shit coming out your way. Yep. And hey, you know, if they can find a way to market it, somebody's going to buy it. And that's the sad part. If they can find somebody, if they can market it, somebody would buy it and try it. Put a little salt in the of that shit. Man. Ain't going to be a whole lot. To be just a spoon for the day. But, I, but this is the mindset of people who don't want to accept nature. All right? Uh, you ate, well, these balls are damn near, by, damn near bionic. Okay? When it comes to all the different um, body parts they had installed. Okay? They're damn near bionic. And they can't jump over that, but they just, they, they have become like the bionic woman with the, with the ashes and the lips. And you throw some, make, some makeup on that shit and some night shoes and some purses or whatever. And you got your bad bra. And all manufactured. And I've seen pictures of them before they even have younger. The future is not good for them at all. The future is not good for them at all. Especially Chloe. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I hope everybody. The future is not looking good for them at all. Yeah, no, they they look busted. If with all 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 that makeup, it's it's a busted they, situation. You know, they were below average. All right? Yeah. Ain't nobody in the whole family made the record. Started the movie. Triple the ball. Saved nobody's life. I started the show. Talk show. None of that. They, they were able to uh, manipulate the system like nobody else. And they're still manipulating the minds of young women on a regular basis. They are they've become the standard for you for you, for a lot of young women. Okay? They become the standard. So when they they become the standard, we in trouble, then you wonder why you can't find a then you wonder why guys like Kevin Samuel are digging into you like where they are, where he was. Okay? Because you follow a lifestyle that's not sustainable, that's not realistic, and it's only done by certain people to, uh, to get you to buy products. Bottom line. Get you to buy products or support them in some kind of way, and that's if they didn't put it in. Yeah. You know, I mean, that said sex tape. That's the sex tape? Ain't no Kardashian. Damn, that's deep, huh? That's a sex tape. Huh? Yeah, that's deep. That's, hey, there you go. And we're we talking about this before. No Kardashian. Wait, 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 wait. Check this out. She didn't get famous for doing what she did. She got famous for doing what she did. Brandy's little brother. Now, when Ray J is the biggest star you can find to give a little oral attention to, your star ain't gonna happen. I ain't got nothing against her, nothing against Ray J, but at that time, that was a, that was the biggest star she could find. She knocked off a few more, but you know, and even when I saw the video, I've seen better. I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> and as we now know, Ray J has came out and said that whole thing was planned, and they tried to play like it was leaked, and oh my God, no, they, they planned that out strategically. Yes. 
So that means mom was pimping. Mm-hmm. Mom yeah. pimping. Whole family pimp, getting pimped by mom. All right. So it is what it is, God. I mean, when you when you can understand marketing to that level and play at such a high level, I can't get mad at you. Don't get mad at people that fall for it. Don't get mad at anybody else. Don't fall for it. But the whole, but in this society, in today's society, if you're not falling for it, if you're a hater or you have a phobia or you're weird because you don't believe in, you don't follow a certain yeah. thing. No, I'm on the outside looking in, watching you spend up all your money, trying to be somebody that you're not. Yeah. And they try with us too. I mean, they, they do the same thing to us. It's, it's, there's different icons out there that are designed for men and women. Are, and he helps me get in trouble now. In some cases, some, not all, so I'm going to learn a little bit more other about stuff like that. Men are too, to a certain degree. You know, some men have to have uh, certain things because some people have them. But I've seen, eh, I, I, it's almost equal. I'm sorry. It's almost equal, man. It's almost. It's pretty much equal. I can't. I got to. I can't put that on all by themselves. Uh, it's pretty much equal. I will tell you this, Lonzo. I've never heard a guy say, "You know what? That girl would be so much more hot if she had longer eyelashes." Right. Right. You can sweep now, the floor with that shit. Um. Or I wonder what color the bottom of her shoes are. Thank you. I don't give a goddamn what. I don't give a damn. Down. Okay. <laughs> huh? Exactly. But they I don't care what color they are. But that's not see, and, and that's how. In some cases, not all. Then we can be more manipulated. Be manipulated more easier manipulated than men can. Now we want. We care about the top of the shoe. Right. And they got them carrying about the box. Oprah wear red bottoms, and she always on TV with her legs crossed. And then red bottoms, okay, or Jimmy Choo, whatever they, whatever they are. And Jimmy Choo ain't got nothing to make a shoe straight. Most Jimmy Choo shoes, Jimmy Choo shoes, ain't enough leather to make shoe straight, but they cost a grip because it's name of them. That's crazy. And we live in L.A., so I know you see this just as much as I do, but I've been seeing it a lot more lately, but I've been seeing an influx of women getting work done, BBLs, there's Brazilian butt lifts, and things like that. And not only that, Lonzo, it's, for, it's getting big amongst men now. A lot of uh, rappers, there's rappers out there who are getting uh, liposuction on their stomach to get six-packs. Have you seen that shit? Uh, no, I have not. Man. Yep, it's here. Wow. And uh, ladies, that I don't like that look with, with the plumped up lips, the fake lips, and all that. Like that looks so unnatural. Man, to me, dude. That I was I was looking at a video the day of her yeah. Man, and I almost dude. Her. Man, she was she was a cutie pie back in the day. She was beautiful. She had cutie pie. She didn't mean nothing. I had her poster of that that infamous album cover with her squatting down. I mean, she was my ooh. I loved her. Now I saw her at that BT Awards, right? And I was so sad. But you wonder what would make a woman that cute go to that extreme to fuck herself up to try and try uh, that's what that's what I mean by some some people are more susceptible to buying into bullshit than others. I mean, can she was a cutie pie that them oh my god I was what it wasn't good enough. That's a secret self-esteem issue, man. That's a secret self-esteem issue. And butt lifts and fake titties and skin bleaching and eye, whatever, ain't gonna fix that. She reminds me of that little leprechaun from the Ice Titty movie. Oh, man. You seen that meme where they both walking? And no, they I haven't, see? but I now, mm -hmm, with their weird hips. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, man. You know, Lil' Kim looked like an old Asian woman. 
I just, I mean, she had some, she had some pretty eyes, and little like slanted eyes. It was sexy as hell. Nice lips. That was like nice little bowl in the right place. I, you know, good. Uh, she could have caught a fade, but you know, hey. And now uh, we gotta do. Ah, it's sad man. She says she looked like the leprechaun. <laughs> Little there's, a, there's a meme of the leprechaun walking and look him. Then she has a little awkward ass dance she's been doing, baby. Man, that shit is hard. I can picture, yeah. Oh my god, and she messed her verse up too in the BT award. I felt bad. She she literally messed her verse up. She came in like three bars too late, and the Diddy was trying to get her back on, and then she finally caught it. I'm like, you had one job, Lil Kim, to come out and do this 16 bar verse, and you you messed that up. And not only that, you look like a little leprechaun. It was hard. Wrenching. Who is Miss Diddy? Yeah, man. Hey, you uh, that? Say it again. Who is Miss Diddy? Miss Diddy? Yeah. Uh, Kim Kim Porter, right? Is that who it is? No. Hmm. Kim Porter passed, right? Oh, I can't remember. I know I'm missing them. I'm probably mixing the names. I was up. watching this. I've been watching this, this all these podcasts. And this guy kept referring to Miss Diddy. And the way he said it, black people referring to Puff Puffy. Because she did oh. this, and Miss Diddy did this, and Miss Diddy did that. Now. Gosh, so it was actually a, a sarcastic post about this. I don't want to put anything out there that, that's, that's wrong, but I don't know anybody else to go about it doing with Diddy. I'm just curious. Gotcha. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, a lot of people uh, feel like they were, you know, not uh, treated well at Bad Boy. There's a whole Bad Boy curse thing. I don't know if you're familiar with, but there's a couple rappers who are doing life that were on Bad Boy. I mean, Shine had that situation. Right. He passed. I mean, there's a whole, you know, there's there's conspiracies and curses for everything, but there is definitely a Bad Boy curse. And there's even a um, there's even thoughts that Biggie wasn't happy with Diddy right before he passed. I can see that. Uh, I'm looking in the chat room. My girl, favorite, or my favorite, it's Annihilation. Uh, What's the, what was the question? What is somebody just dropped some names in here? Uh, Lord, uh, Lord London, Pam Greer, just some oh, pretty yeah, both, women, naturally beautiful. Both beautiful. Naturally oh. beautiful women. Naturally beautiful women. Who's your Who's your favorite? Who is yours? One of my favorites is Shania Nathan. Ooh, I don't. Let me see, Shania Nathan. I'm sure I know the face. Shania, Shania. Her name is uh, S A N A O. Okay, S A N A A. Ah, oh yeah, oh yeah. She's Come on, man. Let me let me pull her up. Oh yes, yeah. She's natural, definitely. She's natural. a she's yeah. a natural beauty. Okay. Yeah. I mean, oh, she, yeah. she she has one of those cheap. I, 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 I'm putting the sound old man. Y'all bear with me. Back in the day, there was a television show called Bewitched. Uh huh. And a homegirl, Elizabeth twinkle, Montgomery, twinkle. that played yeah. Bewitched. She can be cute and she can be fine. Okay? She had a natural beauty to her, but if she put on some clothes, oh man, she was a knockout. Same thing tonight. And I can say, Playing, uh, I watched the other night playing uh, a basketball movie. Looked good. And then turned around a few days later, I was watching her on the Denzel movie with Denzel out of time. Looked better. Now, the only person yeah. that I would give, I probably would have to uh, have a, have to do a double take with, and I saw Denzel had my, had the other girl, the Latino girl. What's her name? Uh, you know. Eva Mendes? Who uh, Eva Mendez? Uh, I fucked with Eva Mendez, yo. That's she's one of my favorites. And he had both of them in the same movie. Oh yeah, she bad. She ain't playing. <laughs> anyway, folks, we can do this all day long. You not <laughs> though. Comment down below you who's not. your favorite natural beauty. Love and basketball. In the Thank you, Doc. Yeah, huh? loving basketball. Love and basketball. I remember that, man. Yes, sir. Dang, dude. Love and basketball. Man. 
Anyway, folks, by the time we got to party up, Doc. Yeah, yeah, man. It's been a long night, dude. I got to I gotta do something in about 30 minutes anyway myself. I got to try to figure out some of my internet, man, because I'm down, down, down. Yeah. I thank Let's everybody for tapping in and staying with us, folks. I appreciate y'all very much. I know it's crazy. It may sound crazy. It may look crazy. I've been frozen for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> but I'm here, folks. Thank y'all for watching. Dusty, much love for sticking with me. Much I'm going to try and do something for Farm Dog's house tomorrow, man. So we'll, we'll holler back. Just hit me back. I'll talk to you soon. All right, folks. Peace. Peace.